forecast. A pretty size we look over downtown Birmingham on this Sunday evening. We've seen some clouds throughout the day, even some rain showers. Temperatures, they've fallen down to around 70 degrees. Notice though, humidity almost at 100%. A sure telltale sign that we'll likely see another round of some patchy dense fog developing late tonight and heading into tomorrow morning. The WVTM 13 live Doppler was active earlier on today. All quiet though across central Alabama right now. We'll stay quiet through the nighttime hours. Temperatures now falling into the upper 60s to low to middle 70s. Still 74 degrees in Tuscaloosa, 71 in Aniston, 67 degrees up in Coleman. Through the rest of the night, once again, we'll see some of that fog developing late tonight. That'll last for a time into tomorrow morning after sunrise. Then a quick warm up under mostly sunny skies to 84 degrees shortly before the lunch hour. We're tracking the tropics here at WVTM 13 two hurricanes on the map. We have Jose and we have a strengthening Maria. The latest information from the National Hurricane Center on Hurricane Jose shows a category one storm with maximum sustained winds of 90 miles an hour. The latest track moves it up to the north very close to New England, then does a bit of a loop before finally uh, beginning to dissipate. Tropical storm watches are in effect for a portion of the northeast coastline. Some gusty winds right on the water, some rough surf also a pretty good possibility over the next several days. Now Hurricane Maria getting ready to enter the Eastern Caribbean, crossing over the Leeward Islands, unfortunately moving over some of the areas hard hit by Irma. Category four storm possibly going over Puerto Rico. Then the big question is what happens after Friday? This is Friday, a category three storm approaching the Bahamas. Most of our computer models showing a track just to the east of Florida, making that north turn, but after that, possibly affecting portions of the southeast, maybe South Carolina, North Carolina. Still way too early to tell just what will happen, but we'll continue to moderate every step of the way. Our forecast for the night, we're looking at some of that patchy fog developing late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Then for tomorrow afternoon, there is a slight chance for a few pop-up showers. I think though most spots will end up staying dry. Our forecast for tonight and for the next several days showing rain chances on the low side for the next couple of afternoons will increase though starting Wednesday and heading into Thursday and on Friday as well. So your seven day forecast in a little more detail. The summertime heat continues highs each and every day upper 80s to right around 90 degrees. The last day of summer. Well, it's Friday fall officially begins on Friday. However, we'll keep those summer like temperatures even into next weekend. Grace.